Hi everyone, hi my friends and welcome to Web Easy Step Tutorials. This is Ahmed Fakhr and this tutorial about how to add a place on Google Maps, how to add a location on Google Maps and save this location on my SQL database. In this tutorial we will use geocoding and the geolocation and we will access the latitude and longitude and the address for the current user and then submit to save all these data into the database. Now let's try this example. The first step is to allow the knowing for your location pressing allow and the marker will placing automatically in your location also I can search for another location if not be accurate this location let's try to search new Delhi and in India here I will place the marker again and see this the latitude and longitude and the address will be changed now yes it will change it again it will be changed as you see the latitude the longitude and the address change it now let's submit this with a store name my first store and submit new record created successfully let's see the database and as you see we save the new location the store name latitude longitude and the address now let's discuss the code first we have a user underscore map dot php we load the header and the session to save the success message and include the locations model in the header we just have a simple html tags and including the jquery library then then we load the locations model or php and to this we have a function which is add location we target the add location function to save the location details latitude longitude address and the store name and if the inserting for the location is okay it will redirect to the previous page which is user map dot php we use http refer to detect the previous url now we use a styling for the inputs simple styling and the container and we give the map position absolute and some styling for the height and width remember the height and width for the map is required also there is a geocoder styling after this we have a form into the container into this form we have echo the session message and some inputs the first one to search the location this is used by geocoding geocoding here pc input that related to the geocoding here we relate this input with the autocomplete places okay then we have a normal input text input for the store name latitude and longitude and the address and this is the submit button and the map after this we have we have initiated the init map method and we relate this init map with the google maps to know when starting the map it will call back the init map method okay so when loading this library call this method init map and use the places library here you will put the api key remember this is a fake api key you should use your own api key because google maps it changed 
their prices list again we go back to user map in the init map first we display the map using google maps and relate the map to this div by using the map id and we give the initialized latitude and longitude and the map type is road map and the zoom is 10 zoom is meaning zoom like this when i zoom in and zoom out for the map okay then i try to initialize the html5 geolocation in the first time and then you see the message allow or block for your location if you're not allowed for your location then the map not going to see your location after this we load the autocomplete and if you allowed the geolocation it will get the current location latitude and longitude from geolocation api pass it to the google maps marker to set the marker on the center of your location map and then make the marker draggable like this you can drag and drop for the marker okay then it will set the map in the center for this location and update marker position then we have a multiple listeners this listener when you drag start like this this is the drag start when i click and move from the map are you see this the latitude and longitude changed and also in the address i see the word dragging when i drop it will take the address and save the let and longitude as you see here when the track start or or drag i will update the input using update marker address with dragging text using drag start or drag add listener after this when drag end which means i drop the marker in the drag and update the location here another add listener which detect when i click on the map any location on the map like this it will update the marker position and pass the get position to get code position and set the position to the marker but what is the update marker position do and what get code position do let's see the first one update marker position get the latitude and longitude for the position and set the value to the inputs this is simply put update marker address will set the address string value to the address input that's it and do you could position take the position which is latitude longitude and call the api to get responses with the formatted address and when it gets the formatted address it pass it to update marker address which update the address value and the final the handle location error to handle when the browser has an error to detect the geolocation another note when you go to the structure remember the best practice to save the latitude with the decimal 10 8 the longitude in decimal 11 8 i hope you understanding this well and i will put the link to download and the demo in the description if you have any question please leave a comment subscribe for the new tutorials and thank you for watching see you next bye